While we are living improperly, we fear all kinds of things. When we recognize God, there occurs a fear of his judgment. But when we start to love God, all fears vanish. St. Isaac the Syrian. Hmm. Once again, this could be, or this is, about seeing God more properly, or seeing God more prayerfully, <clears throat> and um, knowing that we do have fear of his judgment, but we know for fear of his judgment that there has to be adjustments made to our lives without living in fear. So when we live in that fear, there's that fear of the judgment. And that not only comes from God, comes from other people, and it comes from, you know, various situations, <clears throat> yourself, too. I mean, there's always, you know, the constant theme of your biggest opponent is yourself. And I know that's true for a lot of people. And obviously, that is one of those things where it can you know, make people fearful of things that they can't control. <clears throat> and in the end, you know, when we start to love God and concentrate on God, all the fears vanish. So having all that stress and all that fear and the other things that cause us distress it's become easier to lift it lift it up to god and be prayerful in it and just be thankful for it than to dwell in the negative and to dwell in the you know the bad things because there's all kinds of bad things uh a majority of it stems from spiritual spiritual um spiritual stress spiritual absence so wanting to have that reconnect and be a part of something that we do recognize that's both intrinsic in us and intrinsic in others is our transcendent and spiritual nature <clears throat> as a part of our human nature that when the time does come for his judgment for wherever in fear of it that we start to love god and then when we start to do that we start to love ourselves and that will help with the fear erasing itself so the distress and all of the terrible things that we can think about and expect the worst but hope for the best do disappear so those are good words to live by very honest words to live by and poignant pretty pretty poignant and pretty gets to the point pretty quickly so that's the nice part about that one